Hello everyone, this is Jinx, one of the Monster Hunter Math Guys. Before I get into today's video, I just want to check in on everyone in this trying time. With the quarantine going on right now, I hope everyone is managing to stay healthy, sane, and happy. While this whole situation hasn't changed all that much for me, I was working from my home office before all of this anyway. I have seen how it's been impacting my close friends, family, and especially my wife. I hope that despite all of this mess, you've managed to stay safe and managed to keep yourself occupied at home. Our best wishes and hopes go out to everyone, we can and will get through this. And if you're looking for another thing to do with all of the at-home boredom right now, we do have our Twitter where it posts updates about the channel and things that interest us, and Tuna does stream live on Twitch every single day. Tuna's streams are a great place to get daily entertainment and interaction with us. Alright, so we are working on the part 2 to our Bracky Broke the Meta video, but I wanted to make a quick video first apologizing about mistake in the previous video. I did make a post on YouTube already explaining this, however I know that not everyone reads the community posts on the channel. So in order to get more exposure for this mistake and make sure everyone knows it, here's a video. When I was comparing the old Safi Blast weapons to the new Lightbreak Raging Bracky melee weapons, I stated that the Bracky weapons are slightly weaker side grades to the Safi weapons. All of Raging Bracky's weapons are slightly worse side grades than Safi Jiva Blast variants. That statement is incorrect, they are simply side grades, they're basically equal. I made that statement off the assumption that they had a 10 true raw difference, however, they actually have a 5 true raw difference. What happened was I misrepresented the true raw of the Safi weapons in my calculations because I already had the attack augment true raw in their damage card. However, I forgot to add that true raw into the Raging Bracky weapons calculations. This created a true raw difference of 10 instead of the actual true raw difference of 5. Now this information makes the comparison quite a bit different. For one thing, the Bracky weapons get a level 3 slot, which can absolutely make up the true raw difference of 5 if you don't have god decos. Especially with a skill like Coalescence added into the mix. Secondly, a lot of the Bracky weapons have about 10% more blast or so. If you get an extra blast proc because of that extra blast, they can beat the Safi weapons. But that is a big if. Generally speaking, it's very unlikely you'll get that extra blast proc. Thirdly, 5 true raw on most weapons is basically a rounding error, so even if Brocky weapons don't get that extra blast, they may end up equaling in damage depending on in-game rounding. And frankly, even if you do get an extra damage or two per hit, it's unlikely to make a difference in Hunt anyway. So, now that the damage is basically equal and can swing either way, they're basically equal side grades with different pros and cons. First off, for the Raging Bracky weapons, they are easier to get because you don't have to do a siege grind like the Safi Jivo weapons. And they do have an extra level 3 deco slot for more flexibility and utility skills such as Coalescence, Focus, Power, Prolonger, Evasion skills, etc. They can also potentially get an extra Blast proc, but generally speaking they won't. Now the Safi Jiva weapons deal possibly slightly more damage if rounding happens to like you, and they generally get the same blast procs. More importantly though, they are more flexible in general, especially in terms of sharpness. Bracky weapons are locked into 20 or 30 natural purple depending on the weapon type. Conversely, Safi Jiva weapons can run 40 natural white instead for a comfier amount of optimal EFR sharpness. On something like Charge Blade that loses sharpness more frequently due to guard points, this could definitely be preferred. And frankly, not all hunters are comfortable hunting with only 20 units of base sharpness and would prefer the 40. And remember, the 20 natural purple Safi weapons and the Raging Baraki weapons can only beat the 40 natural units Safi weapons if you have a full damage loadout with full damage buffs. Remember that purple sharpness is only a 5.3% damage multiplier over white sharpness. And the 40 base white Safi weapons do have 20 more base true raw over the purple versions. The only way that purple sharpness beats that 20 base true raw is if you have a lot of additional raw skills and damage multipliers in your build. Also keep in mind that set bonus awakens are a thing on Safi Jiva weapons in case you want to run other set bonuses such as Tuna's favorite the free meal secret plus master's touch set. And finally, keep in mind that a lot of the Brack weapons actually have less blast than the Safi Jiva variants. These ones are still basically equal to the Safi Jiva variants, but since they lose the blast advantage, they do get a little bit worse. So yeah, basically overall these are basically equal with each other. 
Slightly different pros and slightly different cons, but they're side grades. The 5 true raw difference is so low, it won't really make a difference in a hunt, and the extra blast proc on Baraki weapons generally won't happen. And the Baraki weapons do get a level 3 slot, which can be useful for slotting in something like coalescence or utility skills. However, the Safi Jeeva weapons do have access to set bonus awakens, which can make very flexible utility builds. Use whichever you prefer, they both have pros and cons, but to reiterate, they are basically equal with each other. And that's about it, super quick video today. A huge thank you to our friend Diva, who was the first one to point this out to me. Check out his channel for quality guides and speedruns. Link in the top right and the description. And thank you for watching the video. We'll have that Brocky Broke the Meta Part 2 coming out soon. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and let us know in a comment below what you think of the comparison between these two weapons. And if you have any friends who would like to know the information in this video, be sure to share it with them. Other than watching our videos, doing these things is the best way you can help support us completely for free. And a huge thank you to our set optimizers who have done an amazing job with crunching all of the new numbers and the new meta sets. Speaking of the new meta sets, if you'd like to see those before the videos come out, they have all of them put into albums in the pins in our Discord server. So if you'd like to see those meta sets or just find like-minded hunters to hunt with, be sure to check out our Discord server. And don't forget we do have our Twitter where we post updates about videos and things that interest us, and Tuna does stream live on Twitch every single day. Those streams are a great place for you to get some daily interaction with us, ask some questions, or just get a little bit of daily entertainment. And of course, none of this will be possible without the generosity of our patrons. And as this is the first video of the month, that means it's time for the full Patreon callout. So a huge thank you to Ray Enrique, Zige, XCLK07, Yoshi Cho, Fly T, David Sternberg, Bird Lord, John Cohen, Ladle Wilson, PB Livingston, Flagoblast, Sinful by Nature, Warren Kios, Hensatsuken, Aaron Fikar, Alan O'Dom, Blackie, Benjamin, Brian, Cody Taylor, Captain Walmart, Dive to World, DMKR, Drew, EAYR, Fancy, Janolum11, Guillaume Mercier, Jamie, Jason BKX, Kumiko, Levi Wheeler, Lord K2, Luna Lee, Mally, Matthew Gordon, Milky Powder, Overheat, Palmito, Papa Slatch, Razlek, Reeks Tai, Samantha Falcon, Scott Dobros, Skylar Yang, Sir Kite, Sweet Daddy, Vorpal Prybar, 0412, Zimf, and every single one of you who supports us every single month on Patreon. Your continued support over these past few months, which have been admittedly pretty rough, really does mean the world to us. Especially considering how trying it is right now, considering the pandemic and everything, and we know you could be directing those funds somewhere else if you wanted to. So seriously, thank you so much, because it really does mean so much. Okay, I know this is a bit of a shorter video, but that is it. Still getting back into the role of things, but we are working on more videos for you coming out in the future. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see those new videos the moment they come out. Alright, that's all I have for you on this one. Happy hunting hunters, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!